。いたいのは嫌。なので、防御力に気をふくりしたいと思います。I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense or Bofuri is licensed and produced by Funimation. Studios Silver Link Networks, ATX, ABC, Tokyo MX, TVA, and PS11. Based on the works by Yumika. Please support the official release. Hello, Jackie, with more Bofuri episode 6. And last time we concluded the second event ever in which Maple and、uh, Sally managed to acquire quite a few medals and two animal. Things, monsters, I guess, actually, which they now get to control. And Maple ended up exchanging all of the medals for flying maple syrup, which was just the best thing ever. Giant flying maple syrup. I'm sorry, I need to correct myself here. <laughs> like, and they managed to befriend the, 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 the other girl. I forgot her name. It's a more Japanese sounding name, like, compared to other games. And I knew you were gonna wait until I start the recording before you're gonna make a hassle there. Ah! My god damn it, what even are you doing? Just. just. get out if you want to get out. He's literally been sitting there for six minutes and just. just. just waiting. Waiting until I start the recording. Okay. What was I? Yeah. No friend, and we also met some other people who, judging by the opening, Are going to be of importance later down the line, like that puzzle boy, apparently. I guess it's a boy. Someone someone commented that someone was a boy, and, the, and it was a name I didn't recognize, so I assume it was the puzzle boy. <laughs> Seeing as, like, unless, you know, I mean, it's a game, so I suppose you could make your character whatever, but unless it's a serious trap moment on someone else, then yeah, that's kind of the only one where the bill fits. And yeah, we've passed the moment already, actually, in the previous episode already, where my foreknowledge of the manga has stopped. So we're now in complete blind territory, and I'm mighty looking forward to this. Because, yeah, I mean, we're like episode six. So if you want to deal with these fire emperor person people things, I keep forgetting what they're called,、uh, we gotta sort of be on our way to at least start a confrontation at some point. So take it away, anime. And three, two, yeah, that's. You know what? Just go. <laughs> I can't even count anymore. Those are some CG cars. Yeah, that's still like the most broken aspect of this system that you just casually throw in there. Your first time. Just don't try to do a cover move anytime soon. <laughs> It's my turn to keep watch. <laughs> Why is she like the only one without a blazer, though? <laughs> Just, you know, shield. <laughs> It's so great. Apparently, her agility does keep up. <laughs> I mean, she literally has spent a week just living in a game. Plus, you know, it's、uh, apparently like full dive. They never explicitly stated that, but it's the only thing that makes sense at this point. So, I genuinely can't imagine that your mannerism takes over, especially after just spending an entire week in there. Which is so goddamn. Like, I'm pretty sure that 
also just casually threw this in there because obviously you can't have people spending a real life just lying in bed being a link to this game. But I went over this when they first talked about this pretty much at length, but oh my god, the possibilities. All the possibilities. Never even mind the potential psychological damage it does being in a game for one week or longer because it was like, what, two hours? So, yeah, your real life might suffer just a little bit. Reinforcements? Oh, so you did take a break, okay. <laughs> More patching after her! So I guess that's the like tree house uh different than what you would usually imagine when I say tree house, but you know that's probably gonna be a a guild building. I mean, you weren't gonna be any help in in any case. Surprise me even more. <laughs> That's so <sore. laughs> Some really plain looking buildings in the background though. That few. <laughs> it's a nice song. Yeah, who knew that finding perfection was that hard? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Always with the back. <laughs> God damn, he's quite the rumored one, eh? I wonder if he takes pictures like that too, just with his back. Perfection. <laughs> it does look pretty neat, but I'm, again, I'm surprised, like, who programmed all of this in? It would be one thing if you could, like, build your own house or something, then, like, it's up to every individual. But apparently, someone just sat down and said, okay, like, make... Couple hundred houses, please. Make some of them really fancy too. Also, that was a symbol, like it was claimed. So you can literally just get the same house with the, like any house with the same token. Fuck. 
friendship and guild now. More friendship. <laughs> See, some people do know you. He seriously looks sleep deprived though. Whatever the actual benefits of being in a guild are though. Well, that should grow quickly. <laughs> Sally is so accommodating somehow. <laughs> Like, I know that Cell is generally the one with more experience and all, but she's always sort of like pushing Mabel and helping her out. It's adorable. Is it going to be Maple Syrup related again? That works, actually. <laughs> I mean, I was right, but. Still, I think it's a good name. The famous flying turtle. It's a flying turtle! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that sound. That's neat. Go, genius boy. That can be really amazing or really awful. <laughs> I love her dodging. <laughs> I also genuinely like the OST of the show. Plus, you know, her agility kind of apparently also works out in real life for her. Like, I assume the game has it boosted somewhat, but still. Much unlike Maple's defense. <laughs> Just how I was ever told you. I want to know, honestly. I would like to know, really. He's obviously much faster than her, yeah. <laughs> than, than Mabel, I, Maple, I mean. Yeah, you're all not jobs. <laughs> God, I love this dynamic between them and the general mentality for everyone. They just 
slides in. <laughs> It really is. Well, there's... We obviously had to have some reason for Gil's existence, right? If we're gonna make it to that, I suppose that's gonna be against the Fire Flame Emperor people then. So we're not going to talk about her vitality though, I would really have, li would have liked to know, even if I don't have a real concept on the values, like a c grasp on what they mean. That's a lot, eh? Who knows? Yeah, it's all about having fun and friendship, eh? <laughs> so you like literally have to warp down, eh? That's fair, I suppose. Like, what was I thinking? Would they take stairs? No, obviously not. Oh, there they are! What are you maxed out even in? <laughs> wow. Can you even fight? Like, this kind of seems like a safe area. Just straight up ask them to join, eh? I really wonder about that, honestly. I scouted. Yeah, that was fast, ain't eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot all about the freaking cafe where you can you could just literally eat whatever you want without any consequences. Ah, uh, goddamn, this world is broken. How are you halfway through a food without introducing yourself? Attack, eh? Well, you fit right in. <laughs> yeah, in defense. <laughs> Apparently, like, the fans worked out a lot better for her. But to be fair, the devs probably, like, did not think someone would max out the fans. Attack, though, I can see that. Like, being a concerning point.
fucking turtle. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you have three players with zero speed, uh, like, that's... <laughs> Mabel's wackiness? <laughs> Maybe she's famous for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Yeah, again, I wonder about that. Like, if you're gonna wind up in that guild, then you probably are the kind of odd job that just, you know... I mean, she did Almost solo it the last time around. Plus, she's even like stronger now, higher level and all that. The little whistle nimble too. I love it. Okay, sure. I really do like the music of the show. How does it even work in, like, a controller kind of sense? Like, I know she's basically in there with a real body, but how do you control multiple bodies? I mean, as much as I know that Sally is good, I do wonder if the other two get some, like, time to shine or whatever. Yeah, that's max defense for you. Or vitality, whatever. <laughs> I'll probably keep on calling it defense for a long time to come. Nope, she just soloed it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to see if they what they can do. I mean, they seem like the how should I say kid characters of the show somehow. So. I guess they could work in that context, too. I mean, in all fairness, if they still were down on level one... <laughs> Well, that's max strength for you. <laughs> and how they're clumsy. Oh, I fully agree. <laughs> Those. Gonna look at them afterwards. Because in general, I kind of regret not having like read the other one, uh, like the previous messages during the reaction. Perhaps because it's kind of hard to time.
But yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's a lot easier during editing. But God, I love this show. It's just a plain, simple, fun show. It's like... It's great between all the, I don't know, high stakes or like whatever kind of... Uh, the big name shows that are floating around. Obviously the epics are awesome and all that, but... It's nice to take a breather, breath. I'm, a, I'm about done with the English language for today, okay? A breather, breath, breath, however you say this, you know, take a break. So I do think we've got everyone in the guild now, though. Like, really fast paced through this, didn't we? So, that was episode 6, we're now halfway through the anime. The season, I mean. And we had two events. So, it seems plausible that we would get to the fourth event in time. You know, the guild battle against the Flame Emperor people thingies. So let's try getting to that uh, text message scene. Nope, too far, too far. NWO, the Watches of Fortress Maple Threat, part one, Flying Fortress. Yo, I just want to say I joined Maple Skilled. I'm so jealous, you shithead. <laughs> What's the scoop? You gotta know something. Tell us as much as you're cool with. Feels wrong since I'm one of them now. <laughs> Come on, out of the bro. Fine, the rumors about Razor dodging like crazy are true. How do you know her real name? Did they just translate that wrong because like... How would he know her real name? Plus, how would the rumors be about her real name anyway? Like crazy are true, she doesn't even use a skill either, it's just pure... Oh, it's actually just reflexes, eh? <laughs> so no wonder that translates to real life then. She has some aura now. And who called it? I did. <laughs> the untouchable blue monster from the second event was Risa. Yeah, what's with the name though? Risa is evolving. Risa learned aura. <laughs> Any other new members besides you? May and Yui. They are maxed tech, which might be cool once they're better. They're maxed out too. Your guild is full of lunatics. <laughs> Well, you and May are only beginners, so it will be a while until they can pitch in. Cool, keep us in the loop. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Thanks, so true. If you don't step up my... If I don't step up my game, I'll just be shitty version of Maple LOL. <laughs> yeah, it's the the, the the other giant shield thing person there who's in the group. I knew that from the manga still, that he was basically the one chatting with others. But goddamn, these chats are so hilarious. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like, basically, like, the group was just infected with Maple when she started out, and so they just decided the, the Maple watch thread. <laughs> Gonna go talk about her, spread rumors and whatnot. Yeah, the other thing I'm wondering about is what we, what is with Risa's real name being used here? That's kind of odd, but... Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's just a sidekick at the end anyway. At least for now. Like, let's see if more comes of it. But yeah, that was episode 6, Forming the Guild. Yeah, it feels a bit rushed through, like, literally... I get that you would contact her two friends, uh, like the people already on her friend list, and you, then you just run into the other two people you happen to know, who aren't in the guild already, conveniently, might I add. <laughs> and then you go back, back down to level 1 for people, and you just run into the girls immediately. But yeah, I guess... I mean, they are maxed out attacks, so they have their strength on in certain situations. And we need to see them in combat, perhaps, for once, to really know where they stand. But, again, like, they seem a bit, like, you know, younger, which obviously doesn't mean anything in the context of a game, but still. And even then, they seem also a bit, you know, less experienced, which is 
a strange thing to say considering that Maple herself only like like this is her first game and whatnot. But I like them as quote unquote child characters, sort of like for them to mentor and whatnot. It's could be a nice touch, probably, maybe. We shall see. For now though, it's gonna be all. Until next time, see you then. Bye.